Hey, hi all. Welcome back to BRR Knowledge Center. In this today's session, we are going to talk about Azure AI Document Intelligence. This Azure AI Document Intelligence is a cloud-based Azure AI service, which is similar to Azure Cognitive Services, that basically uses on machine learning to extract text and structure of elements from a document. So it is recommended that uh, so any anyone can use this free service while you learn the technology like machine learning. So this AI document intelligence is sometimes called as Azure Form Recognizer, which that is what the earlier naming conventions, and now it it has renaming as Azure AI document intelligence. So this basically using it for extracting text and the fields from the documents based on the model you are going to provide. So if you want to start using of this Azure AI Document Intelligence Studio, you need to create Azure subscription, right? Azure AI services uh, from Azure Port. So we need to log in into the Azure portal and you need to create a document intelligence service. That's where you need to search and find out and create a document intelligence service. And if you just look at this screen of Azure portal, once you log into the screen, you can see different kinds of services here. And this is one of the service which you need to use it uh, in order to create uh, you know, the document intelligence and you need to choose that. Once you choose your uh, no document intelligence and clicking on you know, the create, and you will be asking the subscription and kind of resource group and then selecting the document existing intelligence and then creating it. And finally, it is going to, you know, uh, uh, create an uh, Azure AI document intelligence endpoint like in this way. So using this, you can integrate into any technology like C Sharp, JavaScript or Java or Python. And you just take this one of the key so, so that you will use that as part of your program and uh, work with the documents. So once you complete configuring your resources, you are able to try a different kind of model software by Document Intelligence Studio. So if you look at this, you know, the uh, Document Intelligence feature here, let me show you. And this is what the Studio, which basically comes up once you create here. So from the front page, select any document intelligence model to try using with the no code approach. So these are different models here, a read, a layout, a general documents. And these are pre-built models, invoices, receipts, identity documents, and health insurance costs. And these are taxes, and this is contract and business costs. So these are pre-built models where you can extract data from these models. After you have tried document intelligence studio, and same thing can be integrated into C Sharp, Java, and Python uh, programming languages, or the REST API to get start incorporating this uh, document intelligence models into your own applications. So here, looking at a read first thing, this basically extract printed and handwritten text along with barcodes, formulas, and font style from the images and documents. So if you wanted to check this, you need to choose this so that in my request, let me click on this. If you look at here, this is something which is uh, coming up with a beautiful UI here, and you need to just drop a file here. So if you want to uh, instantly see like uh, uh, how it is extracting data, you need to choose this and you need to uh, provide input as in a file or a document, you just browse it and then you just give whatever, you know, the document you want to provide it as part of this tracking that that is going to take care of it. Just something like this. And any, any file you can supply it here as part of this. So that is going to be, you know, uh, automatically extracted and show you like how it is going to, uh, you know, uh, extract the field from the documents, right? and uh, tell you like what field is going to have what document okay 
let me go back to my file here. Let me take any file. Uh, or else I'll go with the same thing here. Uh, this is something PNG file. Look at here is something which is a, a PNG file. And just click on run analysis, which is going to, you know, analyze the PNG file and give you the results. Okay. So once after analysis is done, you can see these tabs, content and result and code here. And here, go content tab, you just see the paragraph what content it has been returned. This is something. And this is paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three, something like that, which is almost has written or extracted a complete text from the uh, provided document. And also result, it is going to show you in the JSON format where you can see like what it is uh, read it. First one is, you know, this is the first content and the page number and width and height and the units and the polygon uh, sizes here. So like that, each text is going to be extracted in the JSON. And if you want to integrate same thing into any uh, a programming language here, these are the programming languages which basically supports right now, you can directly integrate into, uh, integrate this uh, now Azure AI document intelligence into these programming languages. So also you can use other lang other no models here. Suppose if you want to, you know, read any recipient, just select the recipient and browse the recipient here, whatever recipient you wanted to uh, read through and you provide the recipient so that it is going to, you know, read the recipient and showcase you the fields. Okay. If you look at here, this is what the recipient by default. If you just click on run analysis, it is going to extract the content from this particular recipient, right? Uh, that means it is coming up with fields, right? What is the particular field here? And this is the uh, road, and this is the postal code, and the city and the state, like this, it is going to extract. And if you take another document here, and if you click on run analysis, same thing it is going to do for the, uh, you know, receipt portal PDF file. So this is very good tool basically where uh, you wanted to read some data from the uh, document, which uh, uh, basically unable to read through um, human uh, no kind of uh, process. You just use this particular tool and extract the data and you also compare the data or values from the recept. Like if you look at here, this is what the hotel it is reading through and this is what the amount it is coming up here. And if you wanted to you know, validate or compare this total amount and do some actions, you can use this particular uh, model uh, with this REST API, okay? So similarly, you have different models here, uh, like, you know, invoices, identity documents, health insurance cards, and these are the tax forms and contracts and business cards. So all of these models are having a uh, unique uh, kind of analysis and using a separate model to extract the data. And uh, with that data, you can easily uh, uh, get your required data from the different documents. So if I want to integrate this into any application, right, as I mentioned. So here, if you look at my uh, C Sharp application, so I have taken this particular, uh, you know, uh, console application here, and I have just mentioned my, uh, right? So this endpoint URL here, and this is something uh, key I'm going to provide it here. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to provide a sample document here as part of the reading. And this is what sample document I'm going to test it. And, uh, and then I'm going to mention that pre built document here. This is what the second parameter I'm going to provide it for this uh, uh, document intelligence uh, REST API endpoint. So the first one is uh, wait until completed. That's what like it is going to run an asynchronous process. Second thing is a model ID, which I'm going to supply it. Third thing is document URI. Once after I get the result, I'm just reading through uh, 
uh, for each loop and printing all this stuff. Okay. And if it is handwritten, right, I'm just evaluating here. Is it handwritten or not? It's simply giving that true or false Boolean value. And then we can easily uh, confirm that it is manually or human uh, handwritten content on the document. And similarly, like language, uh, any language found on the document, right? Multiple languages, then it is going to print the language locally and language confidence. Okay. So let's see like how it is going to work uh, if you provide this particular information to the Azure AI document in Delia. So these are the two namespaces you have to import it and you need to install through you get package manager. And once after that, you basically get these two namespaces on this page and uh, you need to get through Azure AI form recognizer and then you need to give this document analysis. Basically it contains three, uh, one is models and is one is training and I think another one is the document analysis, okay. And if you go and run through, uh, like, you know, uh, you see this. So this is where my application running now. Just build through document.net build because I tried this in .NET 8 version that I can simply use a .NET C like commands. So it is just building my .NET application. Once it is successfully compiled, then I'm just trying to run using .NET run so that it will start uh, process my code here, like taking this endpoint. I think I have to uh, make sure this, that this, uh, no URL and this key uh, as well, because this is compulsory required, right? So, two. Dot build. God, what happens? File you are going to do this. Now it was successfully completed compilation. Now I'm going to run through .NET run, which basically takes this document here, and this document is going to be validated using the pre-built document uh, model. Okay. So let me try this. If you look at here, this is what the content it has read in. First one, and this second one, and this third one like this. It is validating my content here. And just print the directions of the bounding box from the document. If you look at the same thing on Azure portal, which I've shown you uh, like how it is running now, same thing it has given you. Like if I choose this, uh, this pre-built documents, general document, and if I read through sample document here, when I click on analysis, it is going to you know uh, come through uh, like you know fields and etc. But right, so let me draw this. So like this, if you look at here, this is what the JSON it is coming out, the content and the polygons. And if you go for normal read, this is the document actually I've tried and click on analysis. And you can see that this is going to analyze the first content paragraph, right? And this is the paragraph two and paragraph three. That That's what we have seen here also, right? So if you look at here, in the console as well. This is what the first text it has read in, right? Why healthcare is still in the early stages of its uh, AI journey, right? You can see same thing, uh, AI journey. So far it has in the single line, if you look at the document here, there's a single line here. Uh, and this particular thing it has read through. And after that second line, third line like this. So that's how it is build the JSON. And from that JSON, I'll read through this text. And uh, even I extracted the position of the content written on the document. So finally, I'll look at this particular field or the you know, content and I'll just validate that my required data is available in the document or not. And then I'll take a decision on that. 
that's how it is going to be useful for the developers using this uh, Azure Document AI, you know, document intelligence. So it is coming up with different, uh, uh, you know, uh, models, as I mentioned. So like, you know, uh, first one is pre-built read more, right? Where it is going to read, uh, uh, you know, doc all document intelligence models and uh, detect lines, words, locations, right? Uh, and the words of uh, document and uh, print that. And when it comes to layout, so basically extracts the text and text locations, tables, selections, smocks, and uh, structure of the data, right? Uh, for the images as well as documents. And if you look at the contract here, different models I I'm talking about here. Uh, like if you look at this invoices, when we talk about invoices model, it basically extracts key fields and uh, line items from sales invoices in various formats and quality. So fields include phone capture images, scan documents, and digital videos. Okay, same as receipts and identity documents, right? So and again, this health insurance cards. Uh, so basically, this is our tax documents where uh, I know I use internal revenue services uh, tax forms. And this is uh, 109, it basically extracts information reported on US 109 tax forms, and this is 1099 tax forms like that. So this last one is business cards I'm talking about. This is similar to, you know, uh, health insurance cards model where it extracts key information from, so US health insurance cards or any insurance cards, which basically having health information. So basically we use it this in the healthcare industry for, Claim process where it pick, pick up, you know, uh, claiming the person or the patient or uh, claim process and you know insurance uh, details from the claim uh, doc claim forms or documents uploaded to, to the website, and it generates a report to the uh, customer. So it is very simply, uh, you know, you know, easy tool. You can run through online or you can integrate into any programming language to get the beauty of document intelligence studio. Okay. So I hope you understand the concept of this Azure you know, Document AI intelligence feature, where you guys can simply understand the concept and use that into your program. Okay, so thanks for listening to this video and please subscribe this channel for more videos going forward to understand and other concepts on Azure AI. Thank you.